Welcome back, sippers. It's your girl, Selby. I'm with Tip and Stock, and we're hitting you with another wine review. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Today we are trying this sweet red wine. It's called Santa Julia. It's from Argentina and we're going to give you our first impressions. Cheers. This is really good. Julia. Damn, this is a good choice. Mm -hmm. I actually like this a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fruity. When I sipped it, it tastes like grapefruit juice. But <laughs> yep, Welch's great for right. <laughs> exactly. But but that's no shade. No, it's not shade. But it wasn't like sweet like the juice I would get with Welch's. It, it was. Um, I de it definitely was a wine, but very great. It's it, sweet, nice and sweet, but not not still not the too sweet. It, when I look at it, it actually looks like. Um, the church juice we would get when we <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> communion juice. Yes. <laughs> hey, if that's what you think, that's what you think. <laughs> I think why it's a little different is because it has notes of not only wild strawberry, raspberry, but black currant. Mm. I don't really drink many things with black currant. Mm. It's not a blackberry. It's like its own thing. Right. I had to actually look that up to see what that was. But I think that's probably what we're tasting. Is that blackberry? Yeah. Black currant. I get that communion vibes, I'm sorry. Yeah, it is communion vibes. <laughs> but but well, it's I, good. It, it is, I mean, it doesn't only pair with the communion wafers. Right. I mean, you can have this with um, like fair, you can have this with some desserts, maybe like a cheesecake or um, maybe a cake, a different cake, like a strawberry shortcake. Mm -hmm. um, or yeah. you could just drink it on your own at, at, by itself, actually. You don't really need anything. It's one of those sweet things where you don't need nothing to pair with. It's very good on its own. Mm -hmm. They actually recommend that you can have it on its own. And I think that's one of the first wines that we've tried that recommend that you could just have it on its own. And this is actually a 10%, mm -hmm. I believe, wine, and it was about $9.99. So another steal, again, we're bringing you. It was just good. We always love that good price point. I mean, if we can, sometimes the, going on the cheap side is not always the best. We might wake up with a hangover. It might not be so good, right. but um, for the most part, we've been striking out good with having a low price point and these wines being kind of good. So this one here was a good choice. A lot of wines that give you the hangover in the next day, they will actually say on the back that it's high in sulfites. Mm, so oh. if you're going to be watching out for that, just make sure it doesn't say high in sulfites and you should be okay. But just make sure you're hydrating and you won't get that, that bad headache. A lot of people think that it's because they drank too much, but you actually probably had a wine that was high in sulfites. And not only that, I think a wine's um wine and spirits that have a lot of sugar content um usually the ones that cause you the headaches the next day so like if you have like a lot of fruity drinks a lot of fruity wines there might be the ones that might give you that headache the day after so let's get into a game of have i ever mm -hmm. have our trusty little Pick out of the cup, and since I introduced, I'll go first. <laughs> we haven't seen So what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna say what's on the card, and then if we've done it before, we drink, and if we haven't, we don't drink. So we're just gonna see what we've all done. Can I just, drink? Can I just <laughs> drink? Let me get this out, let me get this out really we're quick. Gonna, we're gonna Let's see. take another sip. <laughs> Lord, what we've all done or haven't done. <laughs> I'm glad it's this tasty wine that I gotta drink right. too. Because don't give me something that I gotta cringe and 
gag while I'm trying to drink. Because then you're going to be lying when you know that you have. Right. Yeah, girl, if I'm lying, I'm trying. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yep. <laughs> Carol, you're I, giggling already. I'm seeing Never nervous. have I ever relieved myself in a public pool. Where? Relieve yourself. So if you. When have you as a kid? Did that count? Then you did. Oh yes. <laughs> have I ever? Let's see. <laughs> no, you did it! Never have I ever slid into an ex's DMs. What? Explanation just really really fast. I'm still <laughs> cool with the majority of my exes, so which is okay. Yeah. Right. So sometimes if I see something on their story or something like that, I'll like ask them about them. It's totally innocent. It, it's, it's okay. It's not I mean, trying to relive anything. Right. First off, but, I don't um, even need a disclaimer because you don't have to be into, into your ex. Unless slid into DMs means like a sexual. That's nature. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Slide it in six. I'm like, yo, you <laughs> I'm like I'm just sliding to try to what's up, yo. All right. <laughs> Never have I ever thought a friend's baby was ugly. Damn. <laughs> only... Like a Facebook Dang. friend? <laughs> I'm sorry. Dang. Why do I keep getting these? <laughs> Read it. <sighs> Never have I ever sent nudes. Are you kidding me? I'm oh. like, sorry, mom. <laughs> oh, go ahead, go ahead. Just read it. Just get it over with. Had a friend with benefits. I am gonna enjoy this sip because yeah, I'm just really thirsty at this moment. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> you set us up. Yeah. She did. As I was right <laughs> Never have I ever gotten busy in a public place. Come on. I'm only. I, I'm busy. I'm a busy person. Had sex in a public oh, place. Oh, I'm saying. <laughs> How are you trying to make us look? Hey, <laughs> hubby. Never have I ever. <laughs> Kiss more than one person in 24 hours. Yeah, you know I kiss my mom, my grandma. <laughs> you you know, so PG. You, her. <laughs> Cheers to that, sis. Oh, I've never had to do this. Lied about my age because. Lied about your age? No. 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 Mm -hmm. Everybody thinks I'm much, much younger than I am. Mm -hmm. How old y'all think I am? <laughs> <laughs> 40. <laughs> All right, we got one more left. Never have I ever had to take a walk of shame. Walk of shame, I don't even know what that is. It's when. Okay, okay. <laughs> She's well, right. I thought you were going to let it go. Oh. She's about to read you your rights. Woo! See, there ain't no shame in my game, so therefore, I mean, you take that how you want it. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.